Hello and welcome to episode 6 of season 3 of the Xamarin Tutorials. In this episode we're going to look at a list view, link to a database and adding a delete function to this list view. The delete function will, uh, uh, will be, uh, be updating the actual list view but also the database. As an extra bonus in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the SQLite uh, package working with Visual Studio uh, 2017 and also the newer Xamarin forms. First, we're going to add a uh, collection to the list view that we added to the XAML file. By using the observable collection, uh, we're going to have a uh, real-time refresh if you update the items uh, collection. So if you remove or add an item to this collection, the list view will automatically refresh to the new set of data. We're going to fill this observable collection with uh, DB items. This DB item will uh, come from the local database and has an ID and a label and a value. The label and value will show inside the list view. To have this DB item on your local uh, SQL uh, database, you need a database item controller. Inside this controller, you initialize the uh, SQL light connection and also create the table for holding the DB item. You also need to add functionality like getting the items, uh, saving some items and eventually deleting these items. During uh, the building of this item controller, I'm adding the uh, new get package of the SQL PLC light. Uh, to each of the projects that I'm going to use. Please uh, look at the version that you're installing because uh, on each uh, project this version should be the same. It doesn't really matter which version you use but I recommend using the latest stable one. Also uh, we're going to add an interface to make the SQL connection on each of the different uh, platforms. So on the Android platform it's the get connection uh, function that needs to be filled. If you want the iOS version please look at episode 4 of season 1 because this code is exact, exactly the same. I'm copy pasting some of this code because I've already shown how this code works in a previous episode. So back to the database controller. If the table uh, hasn't got any items, we're going to return null. This indicates that we don't have any uh, items. Otherwise, we're going to re return an enumerator of all the items that are currently inside the database. The save item will uh, also work as the update. If the ID of the item in question is uh, not zero, then we're going to update this item using the ID that is provided. Otherwise, we're going to insert the new item and return the ID that is given when it's inserted. The delete will work on an ID. Just uh, uh, use the database.delete with the parameter of the ID. Don't forget to initialize the observable collection with a new and assigning the DB item type to this collection. Now we're going to get all the items from the database. As in the previous episode, we're going to add a static DB item controller to the app so that we can get the items from anywhere uh, inside the app. Please look at the code how I'm going to uh, define this static variable. With the database uh, done we should fill this database with some items 
if the enumerator returns uh, uh, null. Otherwise, we're going to uh, loop over the enumerator and add each of the items to the items uh, of the observable collection. Then we're going to assign these, uh, this observable collection to the item source of the list view. Please look at the code I'm going to fill the uh, database with items if the enumerator is null. Normally you won't uh, fill your database uh, in this fashion, but because I'm going to demonstrate how the delete works on the list view, I'm only uh, adding some items to showcase this. Normally you would add a new view that you can insert your label and value and then add this to the database. And when you return, the uh, you update your list view with this new item. Please know that if you uh, add an item to the database, it doesn't mean that the list view is automatically updated with this item. You should retrieve the new items uh, when you have added a new item to your uh, database. Or if you have it in the same view, you just add it to the database and to the observable collection. Now I'm going to make the item template for the list view. You have two types uh, you need to define for the view cell, the context actions and the view. In the content actions, you can uh, define your delete function and in your uh, view cell view, you uh, define the stack layout, how you're going to show the information of each item. We're going to use the uh, data binding of the model view view model principle that I've explained in episode one of season three. So we have two labels that we're going to bind to the label of the item and we're going to bind the value of the item. With the stack layout complete, we're going to use, we're going to uh, view the uh, delete function uh, that we are going to assign in the context action. You have to add a menu item and then the clicked is done on delete and then a command that binds with dot. The dot means that you can get the whole uh, item of your list view. Please know I've made an error here and not use command, but command parameter. Later on in the video, I will correct this mistake. Now you need to make the on delete function with the object sender and the uh, event arcs A. We're going to uh, cast our uh, menu item to an item and uh, then get the db item of this menu item. With this we're going to remove this item from the observable collection and delete it in our uh, database model, database controller. If you only delete it in your list view, uh, when you reopen your app, the uh, list view will still contain the uh, db item because it's not removed in the database. Please know that if you want the db item to function, you have to add a, a primary key and an auto increment to this uh, model. Also, if you want to have the uh, SQL Lite working on Android, you have to go to your Android options, then advanced, and set these two build properties. Please clean your app and then uh, remove the app from your Android device by uninstalling it and then running the app. Now, if you hold down on one of the list view items, the on delete functionality on top of the screen will uh, appear. Then the list view will automatically be updated and the DB item will be removed from the database. 
As you can see, if you reopen the app after you deleted some items, the items will keep delete will keep be deleted. If you delete if you delete all the items, then uh, the item will still be uh, reapplied to the app. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you want more of these videos. Bye.